Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at one of the nice new things that's come into VA Smalltalk 8.5 and that's the code assistance in the browsers. To show you what I mean, I've created a new class and I've given it an instance variable of some list and in the initialize method I'd like to make it an ordered collection. So I'll go in and I'll start typing ordered and you notice that it immediately pops up a selection for me. Now if there were more than one possible match it'd have a list and I might have to scroll through it. But at this point if I want to be mouse driven I can double click on order collection or I can just hit return and it'll put that in there for me and now I can finish. And notice the, before I put in that period notice there were a bunch of possible choices here. It's noticing that new could be a bunch of things but I can ignore all of that and I can just hit period and get to the end and hit control s. Now also let's go ahead and create another new method and we'll call this add a value and you notice that it's prompting me at all points so I say sum and notice it popped up and noticed I've got an instance variable called sum list so I hit return sum list add colon and notice again it's giving me the option I can continue typing if I know what I want to do and just ignore that but it allows me to get complete code assistance within the browser that's very much like what you've seen in other tools like you know Visual Studio, Eclipse, any of these things. It's contextual, it understands what class you're in, so it notices things like your instance variables, and of course it notices the entire class library. So it makes your experience in VA Smalltalk a whole lot nicer all of a sudden than it used to be. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever Smalltalk you're using.